What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fresh Print Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown slash scout report on DeMarvian Leal. If you're new here, make sure you like, subscribe on it, be greatly appreciated, as we're going to be hit, having more prospect breakdown scout reports as we head to the draft. Check out the channel and the playlist to check out all the other uh, videos on the channel. So, without further ado, let's get started. He's a 6'4, 290 pound defensive lineman from Texas AM. Stats for him in three years. Um, in 33 games, he's had 133 tackles, 25 tackles for loss, 13 sacks, 5 pass deflections, and 2 forced fumbles. Awards, he's an All-American this year and a first-team All-SEC. Strength and weaknesses for Leo, he's a very versatile guy and it's hard to game plan against him when he's always moving around. He can play that defensive and defensive tackle and as well as a nose tackle. He also has great athleticism. He moves well and has great at changing direction and it makes his spin move dominant. Also, Leo's a dominant athlete. He's quick off the ball and has great bursts. He's always he always shows uh, energetic an energetic motor which adds to his great play speed that he already has. Also has great uh, length. Cons from though, he struggles to get off blocks. Once a lineman has their hands on him, he's out of the pass rush pretty much. Um, if he wants to continue at nose tackle and playing nose tackle, he might want to add some uh, weight on him to his frame. It could help his lower body strength and make him do better in the run game. Pro comparison, I'm going to have to say Cameron Jordan, same size defense alignment who are explosive athletes. Cam Jordan came to the league at defense end and has been successful at it, though he can also play at that interior defense alignment position. Um, could be a great move for Leo to move to defense end, but at the same time, there's a lot of different teams with different formations, and I think any team he goes to uh, is where he shall play at least uh whatever team drafts them is what he should move his position to and dominate from there team fits gonna have to say the packers lives exactly the oversized edge rusher they like you know they don't like to have speedy uh quick guys off the edge they like more of power rushers um and lil brings great depth at that late round pick for them so i think this is a great pick and a great opportunity here to get another uh power rusher uh, or defensive, uh, interior defense alignment that they can move back out to edge. Draft projection, he's a late first round. In my opinion, he's a top 15 prospect. He isn't a normal edge rusher, and that might be the problem. Teams don't want to take a risk on someone who might not be uh, great for that spot, for a specific spot that they want. Um, he definitely would be a late first round steal. Also, there was a port, I believe, like two days ago where he was arrested and you know nothing will really stick and it won't be much of a problem but also you know you got to keep your uh, offseason name very fresh and have high praises um, against you if you want to you know rise up on so I think if he has a great combine great offseason everything goes great for him he could rise but he's going to do a lot of working hard um, and no m very minor mistakes that's basically our video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe button. Make sure to check out other other videos on the channel. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe. Watch all the other videos. It'll be really appreciated. Comment whatever video you want to see next. And thank you guys for watching. And peace.